Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're looking back at the Nintendo 3DS, and more importantly how to emulate 3DS games using the Citra emulator. There are some first class titles on the 3DS, a number of which are well worth putting onto a big screen via a PC, enhancing the graphics, and reliving those bygone days. So let's get on with it. First and foremost you'll need some games, and as ever on a YouTube video I can't tell you where you might find them. Normally the route for 3DS games is download them from your console using some add-on software. It's quite specific in how to do that and can be quite tricky. So as ever, my website guide with some additional resources will tell you how to do that and offer other help in order to get Simulator running. So let's download Citra. I'll leave a link in the description below to the web page. We simply go here and download the current version. It's an executable file which you'll just save to your downloads. That won't take very long at all. And once that's done, you can go to your downloads folder, double click the execute, and it will take you through the install process. So on this one, just choose nightly because that's the stable one. You can use the Citra Canary and it will download some, the most up, the most recent version. But for this video, I'm sticking with nightly. You can please, by all means, play around with the updated one if you want to. Click to the agreement. Just put a short cut into my start folder and then we'll just install Citra. So we'll just rush through that and there we go, Citra's installed. So we'll close down that file, go into my start menu and install Citra. Here we go. So first and foremost, let's find our games. So double click on the plus sign there and just tell Citra where your games folder is. There we go, going straight up on the screen, nice images, an idea of how the emulator will run them as well. So we'll run for a few more things before we start the game. So let's go to configure. Not much really to do on the general settings as far as I can see. I never really play with these. Sound again, I don't really play with. Graphics will come back to when we're actually in gameplay. You can alter these on the fly, so we'll have a look at that when we're actually playing the games. So here we go, setting up our controller. So I'm just mapping an Xbox One controller here. So click on the button you want and then press the appropriate button. So A, B, X, Y, etc, etc. Just load those in. So I'll quickly run through those. You will take an analog stick. And the best way to do that is click on the set analog and it will guide you through a horizontal and vertical plane. Just set up your analog stick and set its dead zone. Setting our shoulder buttons there. Start and select. And that will do us. There are a list of hotkeys you can set. Just over here. F11 is to get in and out of full screen mode. There are a few others you might want to take notes of, but not that important. Okay. So ready to start gaming. Mario Kart 7. Okay, so first and foremost, the screen display here gives you the top and bottom screen you would associate with the 3DS. So the first thing we're going to do in our settings is to go and change the display. And my preference is to have a large screen with that bottom screen as a small one on the right hand side. So for most of the video, I'll leave this in windowed mode just so you can see the frames per second below. As you can see, running at 60, no problems, but this is in native resolution looking perhaps a little bit blocky. Let's have a look at video then, see what we can do. So going to the video settings here, what I'll first do is put this on 1440p, which is around four times native resolution. No real need to touch any of these, by all means play around with them, see if you like what they do. But for me, I leave them as a stock. I just really play around with the resolution enhancement through the scaling. That looks much better already. 
So we'll, so we'll just try and harden that a little bit more. That looks great. Okay, let's get playing. Get through the start screens. Here we go. Mario Kart in 2K, in 1440p. All looking pretty glorious. I'm just keeping on that frame rate counter just into the bottom right there. You'll see we pretty much stick at 60. No issues at all. As I said earlier, the emulator is very much OpenGL dependent, so it works really well on NVIDIA graphics, not so well on Radeon. So I certainly have had problems with emulating on Radeon machines and cars before. NVIDIA certainly is the way forward. So that looked quite good. So what we'll quickly do now is just see if we can bump that up a bit more, perhaps to 4K. I'm not sure you'll see a huge difference on screen, so I'm capturing a 1080p, but, but certainly by all means, but we'll certainly have a look and just prove to you it can run at 60fps on this system. I'm running a 2060KO with a, free, with a 3600X. So no problems in terms of horsepower for, for this emulator for me. But of course, do play around. You, your mileage may vary depending on your piece of kit. That looks absolutely great. I'm running no problems. So a few more games then. So Super Smash Bros. 3DS at 4K. I did spot the occasional dip at this resolution. You might want to scale it down maybe one or two if you're a real player of this game. but. It looks fantastic and as I say, without, with only the occasional dip, it did run really well at 60 FPS. So Super Mario Bros. 2 at 4K, absolutely no problems. Looks absolutely fantastic. Well, when I say no problems, please excuse my gameplay. But no, no problems from the emulator's perspective. Okay, that looks really good. I'll have a couple to scroll through. Pokemon Ultra Moon. A very popular game on 3DS, I'm told, but not one I really got into. But works a treat on this works a treat on this emulator. No problems at all with this. So Ocarina of Time, this looks absolutely great at 4K, and again, no problems with gameplay at all. Sit your hands it like a dream. And then finally, for old time's sake, a bit of Pro Evo Soccer. Again, looks fantastic, plays really well. No problems at all. Well, not much more to say really, it's that straightforward. Do play around. Do play around with the settings to make sure it fits your system. But overall, I don't see you have any problems. So thanks for watching YouTube. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was useful. As ever, comments below. Do consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. And until next one, go well. <laughs>